everybody, it's Chris and Des Show. I'm Chris. And I'm Des. And today we're going to talk to you about Steven Spielberg's West Side Story, which is out right now in theaters. You can go see it. Desiree, what did you think? Is it Steven Spielberg's or is it, who's the guy who wrote it? Uh, Tony Kushner's. Is it Tony Kushner's West Side Story? No, it's Steven, it's Steven Spielberg's. Spielberg's. Okay. I loved it, you guys. I loved it. I am going to give you a spoiler warning because of the... Uh, the plot of this movie is different than the play. And if you are like me, you would not want to know what the changes are before you go to the movie. And I want to talk about the changes. So I'm telling you uh, right now, if that's your situation, turn this off, go see the movie, come back and let's talk about it. Um, okay, so be warned. So that's primarily uh, what I want to talk about about this movie. They took the story mm. and they they didn't touch the songs. The songs are exactly the same, I want to say, note for note. Like every, all the music is the same. But they moved it around in the story and they uh, just brought it up to the now. And it total, it just it makes so much sense. It just has a flow to it now, and it just makes so much sense. They, uh, in the original, when she says to him that uh, Maria, wait, what does she say? That that Chino shot mm -hmm. the first time in the original, she's lying. But in this one, she's telling the truth. It is so good. It's just brilliant. It's just brilliant all around. The dancing is amazing. The costuming is going to win all the awards. The the acting was great. The main guy, what's his name? Angel Elgord. What was that movie he was in that I loved? It was it was so innovative, and he did such a great job, and it was had this music. Oh, Baby Driver. Yeah, Baby Driver. I really enjoyed Baby Driver, even though, well, anyway, I really <laughs> enjoyed Baby Driver, and he was so good in it. And this one, I, he, uh, his voice is really good. He's I didn't know singer. he could sing like yeah, that. He really singer. is a good singing. He kind of has, for me personally, he has a little dead eyes where it doesn't feel like he's behind his eyes at the beginning. And then gradually he, he gets better and better at that. And maybe that was intentional. But I wouldn't have minded him being a little more present at the very beginning as much. But that's my only critique. I thought I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. What did you think? Mm -hmm. I loved it also. It's fantastic. It, it, here's all the comparisons that are going to make people. Is it better than the original movie that won Best Picture? Yes, it is actually. Which is hard because I love the original movie. Don't get me wrong. I love it. Is it better than the, like, play of West Side Story? Probably, yes, also. And I love the, <laughs> the stage the musical of West Side Story. I wouldn't be surprised if they update, like, they have a new play version. Yeah, the, because yeah. it really, all the changes the story that is all, yeah. Steven made and that Tony Kushner made that they decided to make, probably with Steven, actually. He's just pretty hands-on in his decision-making. Yeah, that's making. right. Um, they're just like smart, smart changes that made it all better. Yeah. Like it, even like where they placed America, like it's, you know, America in the first movie and in the play, or the first movie is like, after that night they go up and they talk about it. This is like the next day, it's bright and sunny and we're outside and we're dancing and doing stuff. And it's like, oh, and they're actually like interacting with the world around them. It's like, oh, this feels much more authentic yeah, and yeah, just yeah. natural way of happening. Um, I love what they did with the Jets too. I think they made them like really well, like sure. real kids who yeah, are yeah. off the street in a sense um, and who are dancing like in piles of like dirt and bricks and that, it's like well, this is probably where they would be when all this was happening. Uh, yeah, and I love Officer Crumpy. That's what's funny is in the movie version, I didn't like, like I, in the original movie, I should say in the 60s. Yeah. I, some of the songs I didn't like, I love in this version. Like, I feel pretty in the first. It doesn't make a lot of sense. She's there and with Anita dancing and Natalie yeah, Wood. Is that one makes so stunned. much more sense in this movie. It's like, this, this is how it should be. <laughs> this makes total sense of why she's yeah. daydreaming this dream and whatever yeah. is happening. It's like, oh, this is perfect. Yeah. The girl who plays Maria, Rachel Zell Zegler. She is so crazy she is good. so good. Her voice is Her real, voice. real good. Yeah, yeah. She's fantastic. Really good. Um... And I, 
And, and Anita. I, I liked An- Angel Elgort, and I loved Ariana DeBose, who played uh, Anita. Anita. Here's the problem. Uh-oh. Is that, and my sister and I talked about this on the way out of the movie also, is that you're going to get compared always to who played it before. That's true. She just happened to play the part that Rita Moreno won her Oscar for and is so emblazoned in most people's mind to know West Side Story as Anita. And Rita Moreno blows it out of the park. It's She's amazing in the first movie. And so even though Arnetta Bose is amazing, she plays it differently, for sure. Yeah. At the same time, you're like, I think I maybe like Rita Moreno a little better, which is so oh, unfair to... <laughs> Ariana Bose, but and it's Rita's just, in this movie just, too. And I'm gonna get to that. Don't worry. Um, but I like David Alvarez too. He played Bernardo. Brian Darcy James played Officer Kreppy, and he was great. I love Brian Darcy James. He was great. And Mike Face who played Riff. I loved him too. He's yeah, a good, he was real good really voice good. too. Uh, oh man, he was really good. And Iris uh, Menace played anybody's the girl who's trying to always be. Yes. She was really good too. That was so. Oh, I makes more was way more so sense in that way this more movie sense. too. Yeah. Uh, and then they wrote this part for Rita Moreno in the movie, which totally makes, it really, it's another thing that makes sense. Yeah. For Tony to have somebody who's kind of mentoring him of like, you don't need to be a gangster your whole life. Yeah. Like you can be something better. And then they gave, they changed somewhere. And instead of having it, they have her, Rita Moreno sing it. You, can, you can't, it. you can't. Stop it, what are you doing? Keep yeah. your eyes and be like, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> What is happening? Yeah, um, no, it's so Rita Moreno is a I can everything. She just is someone you want to you want to watch. She has so much natural chemistry and just like that it factor that you're like when she's on screen you're like which is why she won the Oscar in the first right. version. She I can't help it. She can't help it. I wouldn't even be surprised if they nominate her for this version. She totally could. They made this she's part so big enough, good. meaty yes. enough for her. Yes. It's like and she has a whole song. Yep. That's like oh okay, well she could easily get nominated oh, again man. and she's phenomenal she's, she's Rita so Moreno good. you can't help it what is happening right here I hope when I'm 90 I am she's as so good. is she 90 people, I think she is she right? is not 90 31 yeah 90 she's 90 she's amazing what is happening right now she's still like I would have guessed maybe early 80s yeah she's 90 you go, Rita yeah. Moreno. Actually, she turned like December 11th, so three days <laughs> like, ago. She, right, just now. <laughs> three three days ago, she turned 90. Oh, amazing. She's and amazing. She's, she's am- amazing. Amazing. Now, there's another way to put it. That is crazy. But Des is right. The costumes, the choreography is much more masculine for the boys, which makes so much more yeah, sense yeah. than just a straight ballet. There's a lot of ballet, but it's like with much more Gene Kelly, we were saying, like ballet, which yeah, is yeah. much more masculine type of ballet. Um, Low to the ground and yeah. the gravity. And like we're punching and yeah. stuff not doing like I don't know what pure wet yeah uh, and this is great and then even oh I love how they read it cool too and they made it a duet between um, Tony yeah, and they moved, they moved all the so songs good. around and it just makes way more right. sense they make so much sense. and Steven's dad must have loved it he because he dedicated it to his dad oh yeah and so his dad must have loved it and maybe he thought like how could I what we loved about it and maybe the things even they talked about they didn't love about it maybe yeah. they were like what can, how can we make, make it, it even better? And he did. Fantastic. So the man knows how to direct a movie, obviously. It's beautiful. <laughs> the costumes are beautiful. The cinematography is beautiful. It's just good. It's all good. Oh, there is a lot of Spanish in it, which he had, I had read it, watched this interview of him yeah. saying, like, I don't want to do subtitles. I want you to feel like if I was in this situation, I would have to pick up what was going on based off of what is happening. If you speak Spanish, great. If you didn't, you didn't. You're... I had uh, his sister sitting next to me going, okay, what'd they say? She's translating. Like, uh, and he said he purposely was like, no, no subtitles. I want it to be. We, how it's we fair. Be. It's totally how fair. But at the same time, I was like, what? What's happening? What are they saying? I want to know what they're saying. Uh, I got to brush up on my Spanish. Spanish. That's right. Uh, anyways, it was fantastic. It was so That's good, all. you guys. Go see it. Go see it. Go, go to see theater. It. Go see it. Go to the Dolby one where the sound is I really good and around. One. And when they whistle at the beginning, you, it's over oh, there and then it's over yes. there. And then it's, over, it's so good. It's so good. The whistle. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, also, I wanted to say, oh. the, I saw it twice now already. Oh. And the first time I saw it, I was sitting there and at the very end, you know, like Stephen Sondheim's name comes up because he wrote the lyrics for it. And I was like, oh, this is the first Stephen yeah. Sondheim thing I've seen since. He's Steven hasn't been here on this earth. It just made me sad because I love Steven sometimes. But yeah. he had, look at this great legacy he has. Absolutely. Anyway. So 
Let us know what you thought about it. Please. Go see it. Please. Like, subscribe. All the things. Tell your friends, the yes. mailman. <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> I dare you to tell the mailman. I dare about. you to tell the mailman. <laughs> uh, and yeah, keep watching. We're doing a lot more videos. Uh, okay. Bye. Bye.